Let's write it down and then let's just ask, let's just tell the story of what this log is, is saying, right? Yeah. Can I just get the yeah, of course. Uh, so if I say log base 10 of 0 0.0001. Okay. Now, I'm going to approach this two ways. Firstly, what kind of machine do I have? How fast is it growing? Every unit of time, it's getting 10 times bigger, right? Every single minute, 10 times bigger. Then it'll be 100, then it'll be 1,000. Grow is pretty fast, okay? But I'm asking, well, how long do I have to put it in the machine till it's that small? That's really, really small, okay? It's growing fast, but I want to know when it's small. So right off the bat, I know the answer is not going to be positive, right? I've got to go backwards in time. Does that make sense? I've got to be smaller. Okay, so now that I know that, the question is, how much smaller? Okay, I'm going to take advantage of this ball here. Okay, ready? Watch. I want to get this as, I want to put it in scientific notation, basically, okay, because 10 is the base of scientific notation. So this is log base 10 of, how can I rewrite 0 0.0001? How can I write that in scientific notation, in index form, basically? 10 to the power of minus 3. Does it check out? Does it work? 10 to the power of negative 1 is just 0 0.1. Then 10 to the power of negative 2 is 0 0.01. 10 to the power of negative 3 is only 0 0.001, right? I need one more zero. Yeah. So therefore, what's it going to be? Minus 4. Minus 4? It's okay. Your calculator can check this for you. This is why we're doing this, okay? <coughs> okay, now, Based on the power law here, that negative 4, the power, is just going to hop out the front. Right? It's just going to be negative 4 times whatever is left over, which is log base 10 of 10. How long does it take me to grow to 10? One minute, right? Just one. So this is negative 4 times 1, which is negative 4. Okay. Do you see how I thought through the question? And I used the metaphor to understand what was happening. Give me another one. Pick one. C? Okay, let's do that. This one, I think the numbers are small enough that you can just do this with me, right? <coughs> Excuse me. The question this is asking is, for a growing machine that's octupling my object every minute, right, it's going eight times bigger every minute, right? How long does it take to get to 64 its current size, right? Well, in, at time zero, it's just its original size. At time one, it's eight times bigger. And then at time 2, it's 8 times 8 times bigger, which is 64. So I'm just going to state that. It's just 2, right? Um, if I wanted to, I could write 64 as 8 squared, and then I could do the same trick that I did up here. But I kind of don't need to because the numbers are simple enough. Okay. All right, let's do one more. Let's do, let's do N. N looks like a bit of a disaster, but it's OK. Now you have a look at this, right? <coughs> you can clearly see I've got this number at the front. So which law does this look like? What does it look like it's leading towards? This is the power, isn't it? You see I've got a number at the front. So this is time going over and over and over again. So I can rewrite this first term here. I can put the power back, right? I can put it up there like so. Log base 10 of what's 2 cubed? 8. 2 times 2 times 2 is 8. Excellent. So now I've got two logs and I'm adding them. First, I'm going to get 8 times bigger. Then I'm going to get 12.5 times bigger. Now, <coughs> if you want, you can reach for your calculator. But I happen to know that 8 times 12.5 is the same as 4 times 25. Do you agree with that? 4, 25. That's 100. So how long does it take my decoupling machine to be 100 times bigger? Answer? Two units of time, right? Because it'll grow 10 times bigger the first minute, and then the next time, 10 times bigger than that is 100 times bigger. So that's just two. Again, they're really like number two. Okay? Are you comfortable with the idea? It's not that complex, right? Let's turn the page. It's how we got some tricky ones. Okay, let's have a, have a go. Something in question three, because question um, two is more or less the same. Pick one in question three for me. Pick one, anyone. Edge. 
H. Of course we go for H. Of course we go for the hardest one. All right, let's give it a go. Now, before we write down the question, which is usually the first thing we do, you notice the question three begins, they give you a, a piece of information, right? They say log base 10 of four, it's about 0 0.6021. They've approximated it, okay? Now, just before I move any further, this is actually approximately correct. Can you see why it's approximately correct? My machine is growing at a rate of 10 times every minute, right? I know that after one minute, I'll be, therefore, how big? Okay. 10 times bigger. But I only want to be four times bigger. That's like much smaller than that. I don't want to go to a whole minute, right? That's why it's part of a minute. Does that make sense? Like, I don't even need to wait for the end of the 60 seconds, okay? So they give you this piece of information, and then they say, what do you make of this? Okay? <coughs> Excuse me. Whenever you get asked to solve something, and they tell you a piece of information, what you want to do is get what you've got in terms of that piece of information, right? If I can rewrite this something like this, then I'll be okay, right? So for starters, let's have a look at this thing. Square root of 40, that's a bit gross. How can I rewrite that in index form? What index is the square root? Power of what? It's the power of a half, okay? So you might notice, I keep on asking, what's that an index for? What's that an index for? Because logs and exponentials, right? Logs and index form are just reverses of each other. So if this is something which you're like, hmm, a bit slow to do this. Like I said, don't worry about logs. Go back to your index laws, okay? Go back to them. Okay, now this, I've got a power, right? I've got a power hanging out up here. So what can I do with this power? I can bring it out over here. So I get this. Okay, this is good. I'm getting closer, right? But I'm still not there yet. 40, 40. What do 40 and 4 have to do with each other? And 4. Well, 40 is 4 times 10, is it not? 4 times 10. So I'm going to rewrite this as half log base 10 of 4 times 10. Are you okay with that so far? Now, why did I turn this into times? Why did I do that? Okay. And the reason why is because right here, if I have a product in here, if I'm multiplying two things together, I can break it apart into two logs. Do you see that? One log, break it into two. Okay. So when I rewrite this, I've got half. And what are the two logs that I've got that I'm adding together? Log base 10 of four. That's good. Right, that's good. Plus, what's the other one? Log base 10 of 10. And that's also good because log base 10 of 10 is just one, right? So I've got a half times that thing plus one. And uh, your calculator can do that for you, okay? Can you see we had to do quite a few things there. We had to get things in index form, okay? We had to see, oh, I should break this apart so I can use this law. Then I had to use it, and then I had to evaluate based on what I know, okay?